Today we continue our tour of the West Rand right here on this four bedroom, 5.5 bathroom home spread out across three full levels. The views here are magnificent and that isn't the only thing that will take your breath away. My name is Chad Riveras. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show and there's one last thing I have to say to you and that's welcome home. Right here, coming down those flights of stairs with the double doors behind me, there are so many things to talk about. The first, and the one that everybody's going to notice taking that trip down that long flight of stairs, is that that stair is flanked by koi ponds, both on the left and right, and it is full of stunning koi. There's also fountains pushing down into the koi pond, giving you the most incredible soundscape for you to enjoy when you are here. And right now, you can see I'm standing in the entrance hall, and what a grand entrance hall it is, with a whole level above me and uninterrupted views up to the sea. Coming down this small flight of stairs, we find ourselves in the first living area slash really just a place to sit down and relax. Stunning lighting elements just above me. I really love the crystal, but this is another one of those features that's going to take your breath away. We've got stackable sliding doors on both sides of this opening leading immediately out onto your pool. This pool overflows all the way down another whole level into a catchment area just below it. Over here we've got the jacuzzi which again I think is absolutely incredible specifically with those views. That view that you see right there is of a green belt with exclusive use to people living within this estate. Now on my right hand side there's a flight of stairs that leads down to a studio area. Now the studio area is very large and a perfect spot for you to make as an office, a home away from home or should I say a work away from work. So you can do that right right here within this house. I love that they've got the space and the levels separating your work life and your play life. Right here is another living area slash sitting room area. This could make a perfect TV room as well. Specifically, if you'd like to watch TV with a view because this has access to its very own private balcony just on the right hand side. Again, another set of sliding stackable doors separating this from outside. All of the sliding doors as well as the stackable doors are aluminum frames so you know the upkeep is going to be minimal. Above us, very high ceilings full of down lighting as well as a window on the left hand side. Very spacious for you to do with this as you will like it is right now. Just a sitting room area, place for you to sit down, share a cup of coffee and maybe even a meal. Love that it's been included specifically with these almost 180 degree views of that green belt. Very nice, but it's a home that is very easy to maintain. This whole home is serviced by a central vacuum cleaning unit and that vacuum cleaning unit pumps all the way up to the half garage. So you have got two double garages within this home and then you've got your half garage that can either be used to store bicycles if you're an outdoor enthusiast because this is also where you'll find all the maintenance structures as well as the empty tank for your half vacuum. Now as I mentioned it's time to talk about the dining room and kitchen area. I'm standing right now smack bang in the middle of the dining room area and this six-seater dining room table fits here with ease and plenty of space on either side. So if you'd like to upgrade to something bigger because you're an entertainer and you love that you can do that right here. Off to my left hand side is the TV room which we'll explore in a moment and on to my right hand side that is the access area for one of your garages and as you can see I've slowly led into this kitchen beautifully decorated with some red highlights we've got a massive center floating island right here with underneath plenty of under counter storage all of the cupboards throughout the home are decorated in beautiful dark wood love the contrast with the white walls as you can see we've got a little bit of fog glass elements throughout as display cabinetry and then above us a continuation of the dark wood design element and that is that bulkhead ceiling with a couple of downlights and you've got that stainless steel chandelier there adding a bit of pop 
you know, making it just slightly more special. We've got a window here letting in lots of natural light, but also overlooking your outdoor entertainment area, which is absolutely massive. Love how big it is over here. What fancy home is complete without your very own six burner gas stove with the oven underneath? So this is a freestanding unit. So if you're a budding chef, if you love cooking, this home is for you. Above it, you've got your extractor fan also finished in that beautiful stainless steel that matches those down lights over there. And then coming through this area, you find yourself in a separate coffee area. All of the cabinetry, again, finished in that dark wood above counter. You've got that Caesar stone giving you that pop of white in this room here again just adding to the high class finishes now adjacent to your coffee area you've got your scullery your scullery has got plenty of space under counter for your appliances again you've got your double sink there more cupboard space as well as space for your double door fridge and all of that space for dry goods i think it's so good to have a kitchen that is fully decked out for plenty of storage just in case you need extra space so now that we've gotten all the eating areas out the way, I think it's time to talk about where you'll be enjoying these meals, specifically the fine meals you'll be whipping up on a stainless steel gas stove. And that's right here within your living room area. This is almost decked out like a home theater room. You've got beautiful wood flooring and dark wood flooring at that. You've got a window that is eye level to the pond. That koi pond we spoke about initially, it is right here going through this window. I love how as you look out of it, you're looking out at water level. You can see the beautiful fishies swimming around. Down lighting above us, got plenty of space to mount some surround sound speakers. And then in the corner, just in case you need it, if you need a place to store all those DVDs, all of those home movies, you've got it right here because there is a built-in storage cabinet. Growing up, we were always told by our parents that you can't watch too much TV, you need to spend some time outside. And through these stackable glass doors, we find ourselves in one of the most incredible outdoor areas I think Krugersdorp has to offer. On my left, again, you get to experience the joys of having a pool that looks like this. I think it's one of the coolest pools and features in the home, specifically with how it leads seamlessly to the indoor area. But this outdoor area is huge. We've got this L-shaped couch right here that takes up not even a quarter of what is to offer outside. And this is, what is, this is what's to offer outside. Guys, this, take a look at this. We've got an outdoor area that wraps all the way around to the bry side. We've got a gas bra right over there. Another outdoor dining room area, but not one dining room area, two dining room areas. Maybe three dining room areas. He has the kiddies table, but there's just so much space here. And I love the fact that there's so many tables out here because you get to really understand how much there is to offer and what you can do with outside here. Throw a jacuzzi somewhere and you'll be living the best life, specifically with that view. And while we're here, let's talk about this view. You can see the full on green belt that is for exclusive use of yourself with a dam on the right hand side, some park benches as well as areas out there for you to sit down, relax and enjoy a nice meal, as well as another dam all the way out to the opposite side of the green belt. Again, for you to sit down, relax and have some outdoor activity. I love that it's been included and it is so cool that you have as an owner here, exclusive use to that green belt. But now I think it's time before we head on back inside, let's go around here to the set of stairs and see what else this home has to offer. First off, you see the catchment area for this beautiful fountain. We've had to unfortunately turn it off, otherwise it would have interfered with the sound on the mic. But you've got access to your own private garden downstairs and quite a spacious one for a home that's built like this. You can see the three levels rising up behind me. You can really appreciate that. But over here, you have your very own private downstairs area. Also, you have your own built-in braai. You can set up something nice here, have a cool barbecue. All of the smoke is funneled all the way up and away from the entertainment areas. And right over here, this is the perfect entertainment area. Not only is it very close to the braai, as well as the pool upstairs, but it is fully enclosed. You've got a window over there, and over there, your own private bathroom, the toilet inside of that perfectly set out for you to have board games down here maybe make it a games room you can put a pool table put a bar somewhere and if you are having people over right over here is where you can funnel everybody to have the best time then when you where you're standing is another storage area so as i mentioned this would make an incredible entertainment area let's take a look at the storage area right quick over here plenty of space for you to set this up maybe as your own bar maybe as an extenuation of the toilet area if you'd like to make this a fully enclosed and self-sustained cottage this right here could be your kitchen area so i love the opportunities and the potential this home has but guys looking at this with all the down lighting and these beautiful glass windows and doors mm, i can see myself whipping up 
having a bra and having some fun downstairs. But now it's time to head back upstairs because we're going to be looking at the bedrooms. So now that we've spoken about all the living areas, we've touched on the incredible pool and entertainment potential this home has, I think it's now time for us to take a look at the bedrooms. So as we get here, one thing we always need to talk about and that is the guest bathrooms within homes like this. And this home does come with your own guest bathroom that is perfectly situated just off the entrance hall. You've got your single vanity with a mirror just above it and the toilet tucked away privately on the far end of the hallway. Love it, that's been done with your black door leading out back in to all your living areas or you can come this way where I'm walking. Enjoy the view out this window of the koi pond. Plenty of fish in there. Beautiful, beautiful to see the sun skate down past that stair area. But right now we've got to go just this way and that's into the bedroom. And here we are, the first bedroom and the only bedroom located downstairs. Before I came into this bedroom, you've got a linen cupboard just off against the wall. And then through this door, you've got your very own outdoor area for you to enjoy. Oh, specifically with those views. The views are incredible. All the way up on the outdoor area, you've got your two servants' quarters as well as an outdoor bathroom. But we're in the bedroom, so let's talk about this bedroom. Very spacious, plenty of lighting. You've got all the down lighting built into the ceiling. You've got your cupboard space right here on the right hand side again with that dark wood finishes. And then some frosted glass, just giving it that extra oomph, making it look a little bit more special, a little bit fancy. But this bedroom does come with its own ensuite bathroom. Let's check it out. So walking into your ensuite bathroom, you have your toilet front and center with on the right hand side a walk-in shower glass enclosed on both sides beautiful black finishes on the tiles and just above it that rainfall shower head and then on the right hand side you've got a corner bathtub window just above it really cool feature not one that we see often is that corner bathtub love that has been included here now all the other bedrooms in this house are located upstairs so here we are on the stairs we've got down lighting on all the stairs as well as some really nice stainless steel finishes as balustrades glass not interrupting any of the views specifically those views of the koi pond and talking about views of the koi pond let's stop right here you've got almost floor to ceiling windows looking out onto your entryway onto that staircase leading all the way down as well as your fish pond and then right over there one bedroom and over here the other let's go this way first right and then let's lead off to the left so walking towards this bedroom, the first thing we'll notice is up on the ceiling, you've got those access panels for your central air conditioning system that services the house. Right over here is another one of those panels for the central air conditioning. Now behind me, your very own miniature walk-in closet, black paneling or dark wood paneling, should I say, on all the cupboard doors. Love that it's been included. Really cool little spot for you to utilize when getting ready, especially if you change out that frosted panel for a mirrored panel. It can also serve as uh, your mirror when getting ready. Plenty of space here. You can see how easily this bed fits in. And now, in lieu of what we saw downstairs, this home also has a sliding glass door and has access to your very own balcony. Love that the different bedrooms have got these features that do make them feel so unique. But one of the killer selling points here, guys, is this view. I love the view. You almost get the vibe of it being half a quarry with the dam just below it. Really pretty. Can you imagine waking up here, getting that breeze of fresh air, getting all that natural light and being able to look out at that? This room also comes with this very own walk-in bathroom. Now, this bathroom is, again, completely different from what we saw downstairs. You've got your toilet tucked away right in the front, a long bathtub, your regular rectangular bathtub here. But now the shower has no gloss. Instead, it's built up with the tiles. You can walk right into it, enjoy that rainfall shower head. And I love how, as I mentioned, all the different rooms have something unique and special about them. So we are two rooms down, two more to go, and here is the third bedroom that we've showcased today. We've traded the beautiful white tiles to dark wood floors, and that continues with the dark wood cladding on the cupboards that we've seen in all the bedrooms. We've got again the frosted glass here that I think could be changed out for mirrors if you'd like to make this bedroom look a little bit bigger or use that to get ready. Then we've also got an ottoman right here on the floor that gives you some idea of the space here and how this room is quite a bit larger than the last one we just spoke about. On my left hand side, you've got your walk in bathroom, but right here, let's talk about this bedroom area. I Right now, this is definitely my favorite bedroom, without a doubt. We've got this bed right here, plenty of space, chandelier just above it, giving this room just a bit more character. But we've got windows right in front of me, and then windows on my left-hand side, giving you such a cool feel of being outdoors. I love the way the hill rises up against the house and gives you such a visceral feeling of being outdoors, which is being somewhere special. We don't generally see views like this in South Africa, or should I at least say within Johannesburg. And I definitely appreciate the fact that this home has been built 
outwards, facing outwards, looking at those yields. I'm definitely going to ask the cameraman to get some really nice B-roll footage that we'll play here of the yields and of the views you'll get in this bedroom. But first, let's talk about the bathroom. Now your bathroom's got a single vanity, beautiful scoop-shaped sink above it, mirror below it, some undercounter storage. You've got now a even more special feeling bathtub, freestanding four-legged bathtub off into the corner that you can really enjoy knowing that the views are just outside. And then the last but not least would have to be the shower. You've got full-on frosted glass making up the whole one wall of the shower, rainfall shower head above, beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Now, as I did mention, this home is a four bed, five and a half bathroom home, but off to my left, you've got your own office area, or as we've seen before, it could be a nursery. And here it is, either your office or your nursery. I think it makes a perfect office. No cupboards in this room, and that is why I generally lean towards it being an office right here. Plenty of space for a couch for you to sit down, bring everybody in and give them a good talking to as you sit behind your awesome mahogany desk window off to your left hand side, lots of space, air conditioning above, so every single thing you'd need in an office. Right now it's kitted out with a fridge and uh, some coffee accessories just above it, so you really know people here are getting some hard work done. But that does sum up every single room in this house except one, and that's the creme de la creme, the master suite, and we're gonna check it out right now. And here we are guys in the master suite, one, two, three different air conditioning vents for this room alone and that speaks to just how big it is again, more of the beautiful wood flooring, plenty of down lighting. Now most of the bedrooms have dimmer switches on them so if you'd like to put some mood lighting in here you really can. Off Right here at the far end of the room, you've got a full-on dresser, Caesar stone countertops, massive mirror, plenty of shelving space for you to put your ornaments or put some stuff there that really does make this feel like home. And then what master suite would be complete without your own balconies. So let's take a walk outside and show you these stunning views from the third floor all the way around. We've got our downstairs entertainment area there and you can see basically 180 degrees, love the green belt, really nice area, nice and private as well. Two down lighters on either side of the door, giving you a bit of lighting out here if you'd like to make this a smart private area for you to relax in your own abode, your den, should I say. But now it's time to look at the ensuite bathroom. So coming through this door, you've got a door that separates it from the bedroom. You've got a full on area here with some cupboard space as well as Caesar stone countertops. Got some beautiful tulips on that. Really does feel smart and fancy in here. And with these four poster or pillars surrounding your jacuzzi bathtub, it feels like you're at the spa. Love that it's been done up and made to feel special like that. When you're relaxing in the bath, you've got to feel special. Window above it, all frosted, double vanity here. Yeah, again, those scooped sinks, stunning faucets above it, plenty of cupboard space below it, as well as a space here for all your towels to slip into. Again, very spa-like, two separate mirrors. And yeah, talking about a spa, you've got a full-on spa shower. One, two, three, four jets in the spa shower just for you, as well as a place to sit down. If you want to relax, you might as well be able to sit down in your shower. Toilet privately or to the left hand side and over here is your very own walk-in closet. So your walk-in closet is full of cupboard space all clad in dark wood as well as some frosted elements there giving you place to display your most valued items of clothing, lots of down lighting and again no, no, no master suite is complete without a walk-in closet. Some other really cool points to talk about this bathroom is you've got a plug point off the vanities. So if you'd like to do some shaving or if you need to charge anything, your hair straightener maybe, you know that that's right there. But if you're looking for a home this big or anywhere in between, what I'd like you to do is go to www.privateproperty.co.za as we amalgamate all the listings from every single estate agent across the country in one easy to find and easy to search place. But from myself, Chad Riveros from the team at Private Property as well as the team at The Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. Thank you and goodbye.